Well, you guys enjoy your whatever that is. All right. Test. 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 <clears throat> test. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to segment number three of Convincing Idiots. I am Millennial Nick, alongside Gen X Brian and Zenial Dean. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a very special time of the year. And rather than tell you about it myself, I am going to send it over to none other than our very own American wet dream, Dean Harvey. I like if that. we don't have a t-shirt that says the American wet dream, I That's don't know uh, w- w- like what the fuck we're doing. I like it. Um, okay. So. Did you take a bite of something before you were about no, to No, I got oh, you get some <laughs> something. Like that. I got a so unprofessional. I gave apple. you that brilliant setup. Yeah. Ugh. All right. So every year, uh, WrestleMania comes around, and you two humor me with letting me do um, one um, show what or one main subject about wrestling in the past couple of years we've done mount rushmore wrestlers and we did our theme song type deal one maximum for dean's contract that's right it. so so i <laughs> so this is my wrestlemania as if you're listening to it today uh today mm-hmm. monday it had just happened um we're recording this on thursday we drop it on monday so wrestlemania had just happened uh and i thought to myself um self self what do you want to do with wrestling? And then I know that uh, you two enjoy music, so I'm like, what if we incorporated the two? What if each of us gives a five-match um, card, but it has to be – this is not WrestleMania. This is music mania. Uh, mm. each, each match will be a, a musician – from a singer or band or whatnot, from living or dead, and you place them in the match. You can put a stipulation in the match. You can put a. Uh, you can put anything you want about the match, and you give us the winner at the end of it, and we can discuss all and, and whatnot who we think would win. But um, we're, I did five because you know we do the five man Mount Rushmore type situation. But they are wrestling, right? They are physically. Wrestling. They are having a wrestling match. Okay. And you could even tell you tell me what kind of wrestling match. If you want to put him in a steel cage match, mm-hmm. um, you can put him in a steel cage. You, you want to put it for a title, you put it for a title. So, and this is the bracket, right? We're not doing the goddamn bracket. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, how does Martian Manhunter fit into this? If I had a way to mute you. <laughs> <laughs> fucking well, mute. I think technically he qualifies because uh, Marvin uh, Martian Manhunter's debut LP was, uh, I think, mm. he, he put did, on you a him, albums. did you give him a first mm. name now? Marvin Martian. Martian <laughs> Marvin Martian. <laughs> <laughs> well, Welcome to the ring. Marvin <laughs> the Martian Manhunter. That's good. Manhunter. I like that. that. And he beats him. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. I'm going to turn this goddamn. We want to be all right. So moving on to music mania, gentlemen. Let's mm-hmm. start. Do you, would you like me to start? I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna start. No. The no. Oh. Go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. No. So are we? Right. I have a question. Are we going yeah, around go Robin? Or are we gonna give our I whole think card so. in entirety? Are I, we I think go we go around Robin. Match, 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 match? Yeah, okay. we'll go your for your your opening bout. We'll start okay. with the okay. opening bout. Okay. My okay. opening bout. Mm. Um, I am going to start with actually a tag team match. Mm. Okay. Um, and this is going to be for some uh, tag team titles here, uh, because we all know that Lionel Richie and Kenny Rogers okay. were were really close friends. Yeah. So what better? Do we know that? Is that we, a thing? Yeah, that that is a, that is a oh, thing. Okay. They, they right. actually were friends. Yeah, wrote songs. Uh, Lionel Richie wrote songs for yep. Kenny okay. Rogers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So apparently, so some why of not us know that. We don't all know. <laughs> Why not put it up against tag team champions Eminem and Dr. Dre? Wow. That was a match. 
in a tag okay. team title like match. Right. And for me, I love Lionel Richie and I love Kenny Rogers. But I think when the shit goes down, um, I might have to go with Eminem and Dr. Dre uh, mm -hmm. winning this bout and retaining Ooh. the tag team titles. Yeah. Now, was this like well, the younger been... Kenny Rogers gambler? Or was this like oh, yeah, the yeah. Everybody's in their prime. State it, fair Kenny Rogers. <laughs> no, 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 this is, this is, everybody's in their prime. You uh, talk about chemistry, right? And and uh -huh. it's just the Dr. Dre and Eminem have been a tag team for so long, right? You know, more more cohesive, uh, right. You know, as to where the others are, they're doing the uh, Kenny Rogers and yeah, they're, they're uh, just friends. Ricky. They're doing the Triple H Shawn Michaels thing mm -hmm. where they come together as DX, but they've also had you know their own successful mm -hmm. singular careers uh, as to where that's right. You know, the Lionel others, Richie they, had already won yeah. the Intercontinental they've been the Hardy Championship Boys, like the whole time. You know, correct. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. right. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, Kenny Rogers and Lionel Richie against Very Eminem good. and Dr. Dre. Um, nice. Let's go. I'm gonna go clockwise. You know, from where I'm seeing it, Brian, who is your opening bout? Um, I like this here. This is a good. This is a good debate for you know the Van Halen fans have an Ooh. ongoing debate who the better front man is, mm -hmm. and that's oh, a yeah. great opening bout is uh, David Lee Roth versus the Red Rocker, Sammy Hagar. That's Love a good one. Gentleman. Love it. it would be thoroughly entertaining. David Lee Roth with even the, you know, the, the stage moves and the karate antics and everything else. Maybe <laughs> hurt himself, probably. Yeah. I know. have a heavy rooting interest in this. Are we, do you have a winner? Yeah. yeah. Have, I have you know chosen winner. your winner? I think from a, you're talking about two guys in their prime. I don't think it's, I think David Lee Roth was in extremely good shape and could probably, if he didn't hurt himself, that's a thing. If David Roth did not hurt sure. himself, right? Yes, Reckless. I think he would win in that see, particular would, bout. I would see David Lee Roth as like the uh, you know wiry luchador, while while um, you're 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 gonna have the uh, uh, what's is, like the Undertaker. Sammy's not like Sammy's not like the yeah, boss, right? see, guy. but you know but he, he's a little so, more yeah. rugged. Is, I think yeah. Sammy Harrier is a little more that. rugged. Like he's a little more of a a puncher more than relaxed, a uh, high he's, he's more low key. He's more easy yeah. going though, man. I think David Lee Roth is yeah. high strong and everything. And I think he, I think he okay. wins on on a few things here. And and, yeah. and Sammy's Sammy's fine. I think Sammy's going to lose and offer people a tequila after. If we're if we're for me, if we're talking about who do I want to hear sing for Van Halen. It's no mm. doubt Sammy Hagar, but if we're talking about a wrestling mm. match, my money's on David Lee Roth. <laughs> okay, because right. he's That's certainly fair. the more energetic That's one. Uh, he is he's the wild one, um, but I prefer Sammy Hagar Van Halen ten times. Right, over. Well, I've got a, I've got a, uh, I got a question for you, Brian. Then who's the face? Who's the heel? Uh, oh. Coke knows David's the heel for sure, right? I think right, I agree with right? that. <laughs> I agree with that. He's, yeah, he's, he, right? he's an easy, annoying bad guy for sure. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. He would have been like a great manager con a character he as been. well. He would have been fabulous. Right. Yeah. Welcome to the ring, David the Cocaine Cowboy, <laughs> Lee Roth. <laughs> yeah. I don't know where the Lee goes, if it goes before or after Cocaine Cowboy. but we'll Right. That out. <laughs> Workshop it. Yeah. Nikolai. All right, uh, my Did first match about? card, we're going to start it out here with an I quit match. Ooh, I like mm. it. And what better way to have a submission match than with two gentlemen who simply will not quit? Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, the I quit <laughs> match will be Mick Jagger versus Paul McCartney. Ooh, These two gentlemen ooh, are I still like it. arguably, certainly not in their prime, <clears throat> but really in their own rights, show no respect, uh, no no signs of show, nope. slowing down here. Nope, okay, nope. so neither one are giving any type of, of showing their hand that they're in any mood to say, I quit. So mm -hmm. you've got, you know, right? That's Unstoppable good. force, immovable object, I quit yeah. match. Who takes yeah. it? We've got Mick Jagger. We've got Paul McCartney. Um, mm. Man, this could really go either way. On one hand, uh, you could say Paul McCartney's a lot younger, as you know he died like in the seventies, and this is the replacement. I think that's what right. I heard. That's uh, right. That's right. <laughs> uh, Mick Jagger, though, I mean, you you can't you can't really argue against the stamina, like despite all no. the drugs and all the thing. I mean, he's still going strong, very energetic. Um, this is a, I'm gonna I'm kind of for my card here. I think I'm going to go similar principle with your David Lee Roth, Sammy Hagar. Um, 
as a musician, I'm, I would say I, I like a little bit more of uh, Paul McCartney's stuff when we're talking mm-hmm. singing and different uh, uh, acts that he's done, different bands he's been a part of. But Mick Jagger's got that. If we're talking about a wrestling match and an yeah. I quit match, yeah. nothing is going to make Mick Jagger say I quit. So I think yeah. Mick Jagger probably pulls this one out. Yeah. So, uh, But uh, an I quit eat- match is my first one. This could have easily been an Iron Man match, too. Absolutely. Sure. Yeah, for sure. Yep. Yep. And then so, the timeline uh, of it is forever. Yes, right. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> well, yep. those guys are so, going to have to die to stop. You right. Know, mm-hmm. That's true. Right. Absolutely. <clears throat> we might be going into next year's uh, uh, or years ahead uh, music mania before sure. the match ends. But yep, that's mm-hmm. true. Uh, that was my first one. All right, Dean, what you got Very next? Good. All right. Um, I'm going to follow it up. Um, well, very similar to yours, Nick. Um, but this one, this match is a little different because mm-hmm. sometimes you need a title for the match. Sometimes you 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 just need an old fashioned family style oh. grudge match. And okay, what better to put the grudge match is in a cage? Yeah. And we're gonna have Mick Jagger mm-hmm. and Keith Richards go at it oh, in a yeah. steel cage to see the just just a good old fashioned grudge match. There's no reason. It's just they just want to beat the shit out of each other. Yep. Um, and I think in the cage, um, it, it it's a good clean contest back and forth and a little bit of blood. Um, but I think uh, it's cage match rules. I think Keith Richards um, finds a way like he always will mm-hmm. yep. and, and gets out of the cage uh, first and wins this match. Yep. Hmm. So, I can see that Mick somehow, Jagger, some way, he always, he always prevails. Always will. Hmm. Very good. good. I, I like the steel cage for this one here. And Nick, we talked about this uh, this group uh, earlier today. Tag team as well. Mm-hmm. Can you do a tag team in a steel cage? You sure can. Sure. Okay. It's wrestling, baby. You can do whatever the fuck yeah. you want. That's right. You're now, the this is This, Nick, is 50 years a pent up anger and frustration. Mm-hmm. Gene Simmons and Paul Stanley versus yep. Ace Freely and Peter Chris. That is so uh, funny. I thought one. about doing the same exact thing. I didn't. It's not one so of my five, but I thought about doing the same anger thing. and resentment. <laughs> yep. Oh yeah, yeah. But I, I, but I don't think there's any era. There will know, be right, blood. Either. Sure. Oh, yeah. I think Peter not just Peter definitely the dude's mouth. Not in. just before God of Thunder, but yeah, like in the yeah. <laughs> yeah, Peter's gonna snort some coke and just go flying out of the ring like a Tasmanian double, you know what I'm saying? Yep. But yep. uh I wanna Ace see Gene two. Simmons uh give the big boot with one of those giant kiss shoes. Yeah, yeah one of those dragon yeah. boots. Yeah. Dragon and Gene's just, face. Gene's just tall. And Paul's always been in good shape. So, I mean, from a physical wrestling perspective, I mean, yeah. Gene and Paul win, I think, fairly easily. Oh, yeah. Miss me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> going to need a little more vodka and orange juice if you're going to catch me tonight. All right. <laughs> Dancing and shaking. It. I love <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. That, 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 that's good. Yeah. So, Gene and Paul win, but Ace and Peter get, get a couple shots in there just for – just to get one in. That's yeah, it. That yeah. makes sense. Yep. Yep. Yeah. More ther- therapeutic for them more than anything. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I like it. Very good. Very good. Nikolai. Uh, am I next? So this uh, yep. is my number two on the card here. Next, we are going to go with a hardcore match. Okay. Uh, and, uh, you know, if you guys are familiar with the hardcore match, uh, it's anything goes, right? Uh, mm-hmm. Weapons, everything. There are no rules. Okay. Now, this is. We will use the hardcore match rules, but for these two gentlemen, there's a reason it's a hardcore match. Both of these gentlemen used to proclaim to be very hardcore, and their images have kind of taken a, a hit to the softer side in recent years. Uh, this is going to be Ice Cube versus Snoop Dogg. Mm-hmm. Both of these gentlemen, okay. mm-hmm. hardcore thugs, hardcore gangsters back yep. in the day. Uh, certainly were perceived that way, certainly uh, had had the street cred, had the, you know, all that stuff going, but... Um, Ice Cubes made a lot of family movies. You know, these guys are getting older. And nothing against them, right? That's what happens with life. Snoop Dogg, you know, he's hanging out with Martha Stewart, and he's chilling out. And, you know, um, so these guys, I feel like maybe uh, some of their reputation's taken a 
bit of a hit from their uh, hardcore thug days of, of uh, yesteryear. So I would like to see them prove themselves uh, one versus the other. Good old West Coast style, just fisticuffs, anything goes, barbed wire, bats, whatever. Let your inner street come out in this one. Mm, let's move through a goddamn table. Ice Cube. Um, although I feel that Snoop Dogg probably has a better image today than Ice Cube. All things considered. Snoop yeah. kind of settles into the role a little better. I don't know what that reason is. Um, it could he just has be a little Ice... bit more experience in the ring, too. Hey, he does. He does. And it could just be that Ice Cube's movies are just really bad, and that's what hurt him more than anything. Um... <laughs> I don't know. Ice Cube um Ice Cube's definitely got the meaner demeanor about him still. Mm -hmm. But I am going to have to go with Snoop Dogg. I feel like Snoop yep. uh you know, he handles his weed well. He's had years right. of experience. He's going to be calm and composed and he's going to pick his moments and he's going to strike because that dog's still in him. Still down in there. DOGG for the win over Ice Cube mm -hmm. in the hardcore match. And uh, like he will once again reclaim the street cred that maybe has diminished over years. Snoop Dogg. There we go. Very good. Good. Very, Very good. good. All right. So number three, we're going to start uh, about number three on the card here. And you got to put ladies on here, right? You need mm -hmm. a ladies match. You need a ladies match. Sure. So I'm going to go uh, Miss Courtney Love mm. against Janice Joplin. Oh, okay. All right. Straight up ladies wow. contest. Yeah. I, I think the um it's gonna be a little little gritty, a little rough. Really um, gritty. I would like to think the the face Janice Joplin uh, is gonna be the better technical mat technician, right? Um but you know that he And which face will Courtney Love have on? The new one or the old one? Oh the old one. No, she's coming out from home. <laughs> she's coming out just just a mess. Um but and, oh, and on, she, that's Courtney her, Love's old face. We're in for a slobber knocker. <laughs> oh my god! She, she's she's gonna go ahead and uh, do a little cheating, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ain't cheating. Ain't trying. And uh, unfortunately, Cor Courtney Love's gonna uh, pull out the victory on this. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I would agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah, Joplin is probably too kind of a spirit, really. Do you know? She's, she's right. pretty. She's yeah, but she's kind, kind. Soul. She wants a pure contest, mm -hmm. but uh, Courtney Love's yeah. gonna have like brass knuckles or Courtney Love or something like that. She'll do whatever it takes. Yep, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Bring a shotgun to the about. Um, Brian. All right, I'm gonna give you two Ooh. pioneers mm -hmm. in speed metal. Davy Crockett. Oh, not that kind of right. pioneer. Two '80s pioneers. Had some, maybe kind of the anger has sort of dissipated over the over time here, but definitely in the eighties, the the competition was prevalent. Who is going to rise is one of the top in uh, in speed metal. I'm going to give you Metallica versus Megadeth. Yeah, ooh, that's a good one. Dave Mustaine mm -hmm. still pissed off. He got you know kicked out of Metallica. Eight man tag match Megadeth. there. Mm -hmm. I like that. I like that a lot. So yeah, and, and in the eighties lineup of both bands, also you know you got the lanky, big, tall Cliff Burton, rest in peace from Metallica. Yeah, so I think from a a a physical. I mean, looking at the band lineups back then, it was. Uh, I think Metallica just will overmatch Megadeth as they, of course, they overtook them in the. In the music industry, although sure. both bands are very solid, both had very good yeah. albums so throughout the years. Most certainly, both still I fucking love Megadeth. playing and touring to this day. Yeah, Megadeth mm -hmm. could never achieve the level of Metallica in the music business, and I don't think that they quite went out in a physical wrestling match either. But it would be yeah. interesting to see for uh, a, a while there. Dave out the, the the pinnacle would be Dave out there with with James Hetfield. That would be the thing. Yep. That would yep. be a lot of like whew, that. That would be the that would be similar the to the Ace and Gene match. thing. You that's that, that's a lot of pent up yeah. just aggression in there. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. So the, Megadeth loses. They have to change their name to like Mega Life. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, what do you got next? Ah, uh, uh, let's see. This is number three. Okay, this one. You know, on other cards. I, I, I like what I have here. On other cards, this could essentially be a headliner. 
Uh, you guys have heard of tables, ladders, and chairs matches, right? The good old mm-hmm. fashioned mm-hmm. TLC. Well, this is a TBG. Tables, blouses, gloves between ah. Prince and Michael Jackson. There you go. That's right. mm-hmm. yep. <laughs> These two one, but, yeah. mm-hmm. are going to. Uh, <laughs> I'm just hype this up. I don't want to say duke it out necessarily. It's a main event and um, everywhere around the they're country. They're going to sure. do something like you've never seen before. It might not be your typical wrestling match, but you are going to see Prince and Michael Jackson. Let that marinate for a oh, second. It's a spectacle. It's a, it's a, it's a spectacle. And Michael Jackson. That's why we have replaced ladders and chairs with blouses and gloves because we got tables, we got blouses, and we got gloves. Prince and MJ. Uh, rest in peace to both of them. Fantastic. Uh, he hit him with a studded glove. He hit him with a studded their, glove. In their own right. Um, I feel, man, this is a blow for blow matchup, right? This is, these two are in many ways mirror each other. Uh, just the overall vibe. There's a lot of crossover fans, surely, amongst both of these. Um, man, this could honestly go either way. Uh, I feel. I don't know, flip a coin. I'm just going to say in my own personal thing that uh, this comes right down to the wire, but essentially uh, the finishing move is the elusive moonwalk, which Michael Jackson, mm. right when Prince thinks he's got him where he wants him, Michael Jackson moonwalks right out of, out of place there and and turns him into some... I don't say... Michael Jackson throws him up in, the R- in an RKO, and uh, that's, that's, that's sure. the most masculine thing that happens in the entire match. And Michael Jackson uh, covers him up. One, two, three. We're done here, Michael Jackson. But uh, at the end, they both shake hands uh, because it was a very respectful uh, match mm. and uh, really could have gone either way. So we'll say Michael the Jackson actually- over Prince in the tables, blouses, gloves match. I originally had that, Nick. Um, Did but, you? Um, yeah. And and my ending was uh, Prince, you know, both, they fall out of the ring, right? Mm-hmm. And Prince just aloofly just kind of <laughs> wanders <laughs> around, kind of back towards the, the, down the ramp, while Michael Jackson sees kids and, 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 and is, mm-hmm. is, wants to walk towards that, and they both, it ends in a double count out. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. And then Prince, uh, you know, a la Charlie Murphy and Dave uh, Chappelle, maybe makes pancakes at the end of the match. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. Yep. Game blouses. Yeah. So there we go. All right. All right. Uh, so Dean? number number four, my number four match here is just a tornado match. Mm-hmm. It, there's no tagging. It's just all men in the ring at the same time. And you have a couple of different generations amongst these guys. You have the ruckus and rowdy um, ACDC mm-hmm. against Guns N' Roses. There you go. Mm. You, I mean, one is tearing, both are tearing up um, hotel rooms, you know, all throughout their careers and just making a ruckus and a mess out of everything. Now they get to make a ruckus and a mess out of each other in the middle of the ring. It's pandemonium in the squared circle. It is a Donnie Brook, I tell you. A Donnie Brook. Very good. Um, As as wild and crazy as uh, Axel and and the boys are about tearing up hotel rooms and being dicks, I think the guys from ACDC come from from uh, probably a tougher part of England um, that uh, where they're used Australia. to throwing fisticuffs. Australia, yeah. <laughs> Australia. I'm sorry, nobody Jesus. comes from England there. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, Australia. Well, it's, yeah. you know what? Even better, Australia. Mm-hmm. Um. You know, they have to fight kangaroos and, that's and right. giant spiders. Everyone knows that that's a bright right. passage for every Australian. That's right. So, I Our listeners in Australia. To, uh, yeah, that's right. He does. So, I give it to ACDC. You uh, can't leave a figure on Angus Young in his, in his prime, especially. You wouldn't be able to catch right. him. Just, yeah. No. No, he's, he's running fast. around you. He's kicking you. He's, he's doing, doing that weird little up. backwards kick guitar right. dance yep. thing, and you just can't quite get a read on him. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep, and yet, I, yeah, the odd thing Axel Rose played in ACDC temporarily. I don't know if you do that or not, yeah. I did not know that. Yes, do I do not? I get that briefly. Yep, <clears throat> that's fun. There you have it. All right, number four, Brian. Now this is like it. this is just like an entertaining. Sometimes it's just like you, you two two you know, two uh, uh, groups come out, 
and one you know is completely going to overmatch the other, and you wonder, is there going to be any surprise here? And no, but you enjoy it anyway. The sure. who you firmly expect to win just wins, and you're just entertaining watching them win. Okay, so we're going to it's just a quick. Probably a, maybe a thirty to forty-five second match, something like that. But the, the okay. one that just, just wow. you know, prolongs it, just for fun, right? Just uh, I'm going to give you uh, BTS, who's the K-pop band, you know, the, the kids with the <laughs> yeah, you know, okay. you know uh, versus <laughs> yep. versus like 1985 Slayer. How about that? <laughs> Kerry King comes out wearing the 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 little the 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 thing with the nails sticking mm-hmm. out. Literally, it was like actual nails that were probably about six inches long. Yeah, yeah. He wears that in the ring, and it's not it's BTS not pretty. wins or no 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 <laughs> no. This is not even Slayer is way too angry and everything. It's just not no. It's not even close. But it's I'll fun just to wait watch. For my honorable mention. It's fun to watch. Yeah, I, I, that out of all of these, that's the one I want to see. Yes, really yeah, bad. Yeah, imagine yeah. that. Yeah. Yep. Just it could be Kerry King as Slayer just by himself. He, he, yeah. He could probably just handle it. Is everybody is in the ring yep. with Kerry King now, and Slayer? I'm not trying it's, to stereotype at all, mm-hmm. but like, what <laughs> kind of martial arts do Koreans mm-hmm. specialize in? <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> well. I just feel like maybe. That's, that's, white guy with uh, beer gut versus uh, in shape no. Korean no. guy. No, no, but no. I guess okay. those Way too angry. didn't learn. Way too angry. Maybe yeah. not. Maybe not. Mm-mm. Maybe not. No, no. I, it, no. You, you, didn't yeah, mess with Kerry, you, you look at Kerry King, and even is it? No, I just it's a guy just, get, just yeah. politely shake his hand. And, yeah. Hey there. Yeah. Hey there. How, are, how are you, sir? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yes, yeah. sir. Very no, good. sir. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's it. Yep. Very good. Brian, or Nikola. Yes, uh, this one, this matchup might be my uh, proudest offering. Mm. Uh, this is for my tag team titles right here. Um, we're going to call this, and this is a this is a Nick original here. This is a millennial Nick original. This is called a yin yang tag match. Okay, meaning that each of the uh, tag teams are basically polar opposites of one another. And what it does is it causes you to conflict who you're rooting for because each team has someone you want to root for and someone you might not want to. So uh, in this tag match, we have the tag team of Dolly Parton. Uh, we love Dolly. Mm-hmm, we sure and do. Kanye West. That's her tag partner. We got okay. Kanye and Dolly. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. It's okay. tough. Tough rooting interest, right? All right. Problematic, mm. but we love Dolly. She's so pure and wonderful, but that is her tag partner. Mm. They will be going up against the newly ta- newly formed tag powerhouse of Kelly and Kelly. Kelly Clarkson and her tag partner, R. Kelly. <laughs> oh, man. We love Kelly Clarkson, but she's with uh, she's with the minor urinator. Okay. Yeah, 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 well, so, yeah, that's uh, <laughs> problematic. It's is... tough. It's tough. There, we got some problematic gentlemen here and some really pure, sweet ladies. Mm, uh, mm. What what have we? So the thing with Kelly and Kelly is, uh, even though they differ greatly, uh, yeah. you know, on on worldviews, I don't know if it's because uh, their their uh, names match up and they're just such a good mm-hmm. working name, but they've been a tag team longer. Um, so they work together a little better, but um, is you know, is Art Kelly's finisher called the Hydrator? <laughs> my God, my God, he's gonna drop the Hydrator on him. <laughs> no, oh, but yeah. at the mm-hmm. end of the day, what prevails? Yeah, no one is getting hydrated today because Dolly Parton, the only female on this team, is much mm. too old for him. So Kanye and Dolly are gonna pull it out because at the end of the day, Dolly is too damn pure. Yeah. Yeah, and as far as we know, Kanye never actually physically peed on or did anything to anybody. He just threatened to hurt people. So, sure. uh, just on straight morality, if you can believe it or not, Kanye's team uh, with Dolly Parton wins yeah. this one. They take the tag titles because Dolly never loses, baby. Dolly no, never no. loses. No, she never she has, can't. and she never will. No, so, right. uh, Dolly and Kanye for the win, but uh, a valiant effort uh, from Kelly and Kelly, Kelly Clarkson, like that. and R. Kelly. That's good. 
There we go. I'll, that's interesting. I love that. Yeah. It's yeah, a good, good bout. I like Thank that. You. Mm-hmm. Thank you. All right, boys. We are on to our main event mm-hmm. of the mm-hmm. evening. Mm-hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, real quick. Guys, this has been fun. Before we go any further, we are mm-hmm. on to our main events here. Mm-hmm. Personally, I mean, Brian and I don't watch wrestling like you do or anything like that, but I grew up with wrestling. And personally, I would just like to say for the record, I enjoy doing these wrestling topics. I think they're a lot of fun. They're a little bit out of the, you know, because wrestling is fun. Wrestling mm-hmm. is silly and it's supposed to be fun and it's not supposed to be taken seriously. So it kind of allows us to do that. And I would just like to say this is a very fun topic. So I appreciate doing this. I always like the wrestling topics. It brings me back to my youth. And um, so now it is time for the main event round. Main event round. So without further further ado, the main event of Music Mania is brought to you proudly by our friends at RPM Bike Shop. That's right. If you're looking for a new way to get about town, or perhaps a new way to transport yourself from your home to, say, a friend's home who might be showing you WrestleMania, you could simply get into contact with our friends at RPM Bike Shop. They are located in Carrollton, Ohio, not too far away. All you have to do is give them a call, 330-808-7792, to speak to one of their fantastic and knowledgeable associates you can also see the wonderful products that they have to offer you by going to their facebook page just type in that search bar rpm bike shop or go to their website rpmbikeshop.com today to see what kind of fantastic options they have to offer you and cruise your way into the squared circle on your brand new electric bike from rpm Mm -hmm. bike shop today Mm -hmm. so without further ado main event round dean Let's get ready to rumble, baby. Who's your main event? Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for our main event. <clears throat> now, my main event, boys, um, you have to go big, right? The main event, it's what its what the crowd wants to see. Mm-hmm. It's for the title. It's for the heavyweight championship. And is there a bigger heavyweight championship contender? Well, actually, I would, I would call him not just... Excuse me. Not just the title holder. I call him the king. Mm-hmm. Elvis mm-hmm. Presley. Yes, sir. And his opponent, I really brought to this only for the simple fact of the spectacle of what music mania should be. Um, you should have the the lights, the the entrances should be grand and, and what who would do a better grand entrance? Little Rock. Oh God. Elvis Presley against David Bowie. Oh, okay. All right, there we go. Oh, nice. Physically okay. similar matchup. It's good. It's mm-hmm. going to be a physical good fight, but the mm-hmm. entrances will be spectacular. Yeah, sure. right. Absolutely. Um, it it will be a a, a good thirty minute bout back and forth. But the 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 narcotics and 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 martial arts that, yeah. that Elvis has in his body ultimately <laughs> Bowie comes up slightly <laughs> short on yeah, this. Yeah. I agree with that. Yeah, and like Elvis Presley <laughs> coming up. That's right. That's hoo-ah, right. Hoo-ah, hoo-ah. And Elvis <laughs> Presley takes the main event and retains the world heavyweight championship. Wipes the sweat from his brow. That's right. Mm-hmm. With his handkerchief, with his little scarf. They put the cape <laughs> over him as he's leaving. He's yeah. sweating. The crowd going wild. The smoke clears. His music dies. And Howard Finkel gets on the mic. Elvis Presley has left the building. Mm-hmm. I like it. And Music Mania is over. Mm. Wonderful. Brian? Mm. I like the the idea of uh, Elvis doing like the rock. If you smell, and I would mean, pop the eyebrow. That's where he pops the lip. Yeah, mm. a, does the lip well, pop the there? King. That's where he goes. Here's cooking. Here's cooking. And since you're cooking, uh, could you could you give me one of those uh, peanut butter and banana sandwiches <laughs> if you could? No, he would right be like great, like a manager or whatever. Oh yeah, he would be fan- yeah. fantastic. Yeah, they basically did Elvis <laughs> as a wrestler with uh, yeah, uh, with the honky tonk man. Honky tonk man. Yeah. 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 Mm. I'm cool. I'm honky. I'm bad. Oh boy. <laughs> Brian. All right. So th- this is again. This is not, th- both these gentlemen have, have run other cards as well, right? But I, I like this matchup 
one versus the other. Now, these, these are two guys that were actual friends in the 80s. And the one just completely fucked over the other one at a level of... Dean and Kevin Spacey. Unprecedented, just <laughs> fucked overishness or whatever. No, we're still cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I want to just the the anger and frustration. I think would just would make an interesting match here. So Paul McCartney again versus Michael Jackson. How about that? Ooh, so Michael Jackson, that's a good main event. Completely you know, bought the Beatles catalog away mm-hmm. from. And Paul McCartney couldn't get had to plead with him. They just made, made so, and, and, uh, songs together that were popular. and Ivory. <laughs> right. So Michael Jackson, you know what? I want to buy your catalog. He's like, hey, man, I'm trying to get the rights to my own music. Can you not do that, please? And Michael's <laughs> like, nah, I'm going to buy it anyways. I was like, wow. Hey, you're silly. I want it. <laughs> That's what I want. It. And Paul's like, wow. If Paul McCartney had the opportunity in the eighties to get in the ring with Michael Jackson, it would be Oh, that'd be good. That'd it be, would yeah. be really, really good. Yep. Who wins? So, oh, Paul McCartney wins. Sure. He, 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 yeah. yeah. He goes just in a the blind pure rage. Ain't right. And just just yeah. pounding on him, just dropping oh, yeah. elbows. Yeah. Yeah, it, it like made like, it, 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 Michael Jackson. No, no, the recording session like decided to put up with Yoko Ono being in. You think you're going to win this for me? No fucking <laughs> way. My God. At the, at the end of the match, Paul McCartney has no memory of it happening because he just yeah. blacked out yeah. in rage. <laughs> and he, all the interviews with Paul, he's a pretty even keel dude in yeah. almost anything you see him in ever. But when he's asked questions about that, he's still kind of like, yeah, you know, that was. Uh, mm, yeah, that was a tough one there, you know? <laughs> a little fucked up. That was one of the few things probably in his life that made him probably extremely angry. Sure. Yeah, there you have it. As it there should. It. Great. Yeah, As, it, as it should, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. All right. That's good main event, Brian. Yeah, yeah. Nikolai. very much. All right. Uh, main my event. main event, uh, in, in, in tune with my uh, uh, millennial status, mine is a little more of a modern-day main event. Okay. This is also I was for the heavyweight great. title. It is a heavyweight title. This is wrestling themed, so it is for the heavyweight title. And what two bigger heavyweights in modern music do we have other than One Taylor be Swift? Weird Al Yankovic. <laughs> Taylor <laughs> Swift and Drake. No one has ah. dominated the charts Ooh. more than these two over the last ah. decade. Mm-hmm. Drake and Taylor Swift are on the radio more than anyone per across sure. whether you're looking I mean obviously Drake crosses over with hip hop as well but um on pop stations if not for features and things like that I mean he's got his fingerprints on everything and Taylor Swift it seems like everything she touches turns to gold or super bowl trophies <laughs> and uh, mm-hmm. you know every everything right. is a hit mm-hmm. so um here we have I mean w- w- these two have down and l- again the track record for both mm-hmm. of these are impressive um Taylor starting out at what 17, 16 years old yep. with her debut album uh, over a decade ago. Drake's been at this for a good, well, I mean, he's been at it for more than that, but certainly been a known name for over a decade as well, probably a good 10, 12, 13 years. Um, they are all over the place, and I am a fan of both of them. Uh, truth be told, mm-hmm. I am, I mean, as much as I like to play up the uh, Swifty part on here and have am a newly acquired. Uh, member of the Swifties. I am a big Drake fan and have been for a very long time. Uh, I reps Toronto, love his music, love his collaborations. Um, but I don't think you can argue with Taylor Swift. Um, it's getting to the point where she's pushing on Beatles territory. Like It's kind of just one of those things where the cultural phenomenon that she is is unlike anything we've ever seen in music. And so you're saying she's beating Drake in in this wrestling? She's match. beating she's beating Drake. How's yes, she doing? Um, she. I see with those long probably, legs. She's do, she's so, like a super kick. Yeah. So here we have right. Um, we've we've got we've got Drake out there, right? He, he's brought to the ring by his manager, Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne's sure, the one that got him course. started. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, Weezy's out there. He actually him. is going to be. Lil Wayne is actually going to be at WrestleMania this year. Is he? We yeah. he's making the rounds, man. He got to yeah. who was it? He got to run out on the field with a football team in the playoffs or whatever. I can't remember who. Dude was knows there, what he's doing. Yeah, uh, Packers. Yeah, Weezy's a Packer Packers guy. Um, so you know, Drake or Drake brings out Lil Wayne. 
it's 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 a good match, good back and forth, right? The the ebbs and flows of a good heavyweight match goes on for a while, uh, and then and then, you know, Wheezy starts to get a little finicky, like he's you know maybe distracting the ref and stuff. Drake mm-hmm. gets a couple cheap mm-hmm. shots in there, um, but uh, you know eventually uh, Taylor Swift starts getting the upper hand on Drake. Um, then Wheezy goes for the old, he throws some sand in the eyes or something like that. You know, sure, some, some sure some stunt, and then all of a sudden. Psh- Oh my God, that's Travis Kelsey's music. Yep, and he comes out to defend his woman. He starts mm. beating up on Wheezy, throws him over the top rope, beating up on Drake, throws him over the top rope. Drake jumps back. And Future comes out. Future's coming out. The whole crew's coming wow. out now. Now we got Jason Kelsey. Oh my God. Everybody's mm. going blow for blow over the top rope with Jason Kelsey. Over the top rope. With Future. Sand? Everybody, <laughs> he's got he's final bats. He's wearing two yeah. no tarp. Everybody's having a good time. Yeah. At the end of all this pandemonium, it comes down to Drake and Taylor. Finally, Drake's got Taylor dead to rights. He's going back and forth. He's lining her up. She's laying down. He's going back and forth. Lines it up. The people's elbow does the slide, does the stop. He's getting ready to drop. And Taylor comes up with the choke. Stops him dead in his tracks. Stands up like the fucking Undertaker and choke slams him down. Taylor okay. Swift for the win. Covers one two, three. Drake is down, and just like, like that, the that. fates have turned. Taylor Swift, unbeatable. Doesn't matter if you think her, her career is over because she strayed away from the country music scene. That hand still comes up. She's got a grip on the music industry. She's got a grip on your daughters, on your children, <laughs> on their ears, on the future's ears. A and grip on Taylor Kelsey always rises to the top. Taylor Swift for the win, and she... Walks away victorious, holding the title above her head. Taylor Swift. There you go. I Man. love it. Great detail. Yeah, well, thank you. These were uh, mm-hmm. th- these were fantastic. Uh, they were. It was fun. Uh, music paintings, gentlemen. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Very good. But I think we uh, I think we went ahead and uh, solved the world's problems tonight, didn't we? I think we did. All right, and I think we can I all agree. agree that like the legacy picks, right? I feel like when in doubt, these we all mm-hmm. came up with like really clever, good matchups. But yep. uh, obviously, I mean, it's like it kind of. I feel like it's only fair that it goes the way the music goes, right? After all, this is music mania. You got your Paul McCartney's, uh, you know, coming out on top. You got your Michael Jacksons and your and your Taylor Swifts and you know Slayers, so Metallica <laughs> as well. So got some got some good picks in here. Did anybody have any uh, 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 prelim matches, so to speak? And, and I had uh, some of the one, it's, and it's odd. I said it while he was doing it, but I, honest to God, I uh, forget what it was, but like it was the kiss one. I had a tag. I was like, it would be funny, like an Ace and Peter versus Paul and Gene, just for that simple fact of all the animosity and you yeah. know that, that it's felt between those two of the original members of Kiss. So uh, that was one that I initially okay. had down. Um. I had a strap match of Johnny Cash against Bruce Springsteen. Oh, okay. I love okay. a strap in the, on the each each other's arms, and they just beat the shit out of each other. I like that. That's good. I just thought of one just now. How about uh, Barry Manilow? I mentioned his name, Liberace. How about that? That would that, be, that would be, that'd be one. interesting. Yep. That'd be a in my head, I was trying to on. formulate mm-hmm. some, and I had the, uh, the Gibbs brothers. I wanted Barry and Robin uh, to go against somebody, but I couldn't think of anybody who was my, a formidable match because they, they were just going to. That was my problem anyone. too. Yeah, because mm-hmm. I had the Bee Gees was my original uh, when I thought of this. I, kept, I just couldn't <laughs> figure out who to put them with. Yeah. I kept going back in my head to uh, Jimmy Fallon's Barry Gibb. As being sure. like, I will rip yeah. off your hands and beat you to death with them and wear them like boxing gloves. <laughs> <laughs> Like I was just like Barry. Barry would just go ape shit. He'd just go fucking Ooh. ham. Yeah. How about the Bee Gees with Andy Gibb? They're you know that. Okay. Against, yeah, yeah. Against how about against Abba? How about that? Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's good. That's I like good. that. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. yeah. That's probably the matchup. Get back, yeah. you Swedish fox. <laughs> I had James Taylor against Bob Dylan. Yeah. You know? One of the yeah. slowest oh. matches. Uh, that's in, right. In, yeah. Right. Just keeping it <laughs> yeah. cool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> throw him, he's so Bob Dylan gets thrown, you know, to the to, to bounce off the ropes, and it takes a good three minutes for him to get back to it. Yeah. Oh, sure. Yeah. And that's the hey, bottom man. line yeah. because Bob yeah, nah. Dylan says so. That's uh, 
I think it'd be a very good match. Yeah. All right. Well, the winners would win. The winners, the winners would win a golden belt, probably. That's right. R. Kelly pops his head back in from the tag match. Golden shower, golden belt. Go away. Golden, (laughs) golden, golden belt. Go. We'll get out of here. Right. I was trying to find a creative way to say golden heart tattoo, but it's probably not going to be the name of the our our final uh, sponsor. Especially after Nick just interrupted with the uh, R. Kelly pissing joke. You still going with that piss shop? The (laughs) name you wanted the R. Kelly one. That was a consideration. I think they're working on it. They're they're still figuring out the final name, but. uh, our our friends at, uh, at, at formerly Golden Heart Tattoo, which name's probably going to change. A new location, a great mm. new location in wonderful, historic, beautiful Wadsworth, Ohio. If you're in the Northeast Ohio area, uh, right now, best thing to do is give them a call at two three four seven zero six two nine eight two. Schedule your tattoo appointment. And so as they settle on a name, and we have all the uh, the particulars there, we'll share that with you. But give them a call. They're there. It's a great new location. And uh, go check them out and support their business and new, again, continuing venture in the, in the new location. So thank you very much. Absolutely. Do you think yeah. R. Kelly's finishing move would be the big splash? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I would think. Mm. On that note, Nick, <laughs> probably a good segue, a nice smooth, <clears throat> just flow right on out of here. Yeah. <laughs> I see what you yeah, did there. Yeah, I was thinking yeah, the stink, stink face anybody. maybe, but okay, yeah. There you Stream go. out. Yeah, thank you. Yep. <laughs> Stream out. All right, so thank stink you for joining us like a sport. Stinkers. Music Mayhem. If you would like more Mayhem each and every week straight to your (coughs) ear holes, be sure to go find us on all your favorite social media accounts. You can find links to all of them on our link tree. So go to Google and type in Convincing Idiots link tree, L-I-N-K-T-R-E-E, or go to our website, which is (laughs) convincingidiots.wordpress.com. And there you will also find us, our merchandise, <clears throat> all the places we can be found so we can link up to you and bring you so much more fun, so much more music, so much more mayhem, so much more mania each and every week on Convincing Idiots. So for this episode, I am Millennial Nick. I'm the Vinnie Dean, baby. Chet X Brian. Have we convinced you to come back and rumble with us on another episode of Convincing Idiots? How about a big hand for Mr. Elvis Presley and Mr. Jerry Garcia? And introducing special guest referee, Jimi Hendrix. Okay, now. Cats be cool. Everybody was kung fu fighting. Looks like Elvis is doing a little kung fu fighting. Be cool, babies. Oh, hey. Oh, this is uncool. We're going to have a far out time here tonight. Oh, Elvis takes one in. Hey there. If you like that video or if you just like to watch us make fools of ourselves, please like and subscribe to this channel we really appreciate it we hope to see you back here much more and for our final segment we will be discussing music mania with wrestlemania on the horizon we are going to be discussing our own personal wrestling cards of musicians stick around all the way to the end to music mania so without further ado one episode fuck episode 185 not one episode fuck
You froze there anyway, so. Oh, did I? Hmm. It, it did on my me. side. That's, okay. All right. Okay. I'll do it again. All right. Uh, intro. Intro for 185.